Now, a report into women's participation in sport has criticised outdated facilities and says more needs to be done to encourage girls to take part in school sport and PE. Well, Us Girls is an initiative to get 14 to 25-year-old females more active. Well, project coordinator Claire Wheeler joins us now from Glasgow. Good morning to you, Claire. Thank you very much sir, for joining us. Now, you gave evidence on the first day of the inquiry. What did you tell them about where women and girls are disengaged with sports? Um, I think there's lots of things we told them um, around about why girls are disengaged, and that's a lot of a lot of it's to do really with um, the way that some of the sport is delivered, um, some of the venues that it's delivered in. The Us Girls program really tries to provide activities that are that are fun, that are friendly, where they can go with their friends, where it is affordable, um, and where actually some of the activities they can have the opportunity to try lots of different things in a really informal and fun environment. So I guess what we were trying to say is we need to just think about what the women and girls want from their sporting experience and their sporting activity um, and really provide them with, with, what it, with what it is they want from their, from their experience. Yeah, the report itself highlights issues that have been discussed about women's sports since the London Olympics. Do you think the report goes far enough? Um, I, think, I think the report uh, goes far enough if, if, it's, if it's taken on board. We really welcome the report. We really welcome the fact that the report is, um, is now out there and we really welcome the fact that it's, this is a, a really important topic that people are now talking about. I guess um, we now need to put the report and some of the recommendations and the conclusions into action and that will be where we, where we see whether the, um, you know, the impact that we can have with this report actually out in the community, in schools, making sport and sport activity experiences better for, for young people and certainly for young women and girls. Well, the report recommends schools should offer a wider variety of sport to girls. Is that realistic? Um, I think lots of the learning from the Us Girls program um, has told us that some young women and girls, not all of them, but some um, have some have negative experiences of sport in schools. Uh, I think there's lots that we can learn from the report and from uh, programmes like ours about providing them with um, opportunities to choose what activities they would like to do or have some input into how the activities look or feel. So I do think there are lots of things that we can do in order to make um, sport in schools a slightly better experience. It has, a, it has much, it's a big impact on whether young people then carry on participating um, into, their, into their teenage years. So our programme is around 14, 25 year olds. So it does have a big impact as to whether young people stay in sport um, or not. So I do think there's lots of things that we, that we can do. And it's great that so many partners are involved in the report and giving evidence because we can bring that together now and work with, with other organisations and with other partners to you know, to really make some, some good changes. All right, let's just talk a bit about the sports facilities because there seems to be a lack of con uh, concern about the lack and state of the sports facilities. What's your experience been with this? Um, again, through learning from the Us Girls programme, we kind of find that some of the non-sporty girls or those that aren't really into, to, into taking part in sport regularly really want the opportunity to take part in sport in venues that are really local to their house. So not it wouldn't necessarily be the local leisure centre um, or a local sports club. Actually, lots of young people want to take part in sport in the local community. So it may be uh, a community centre um, or a local, more, more, more of a local venue. I think for some young, again, some young people, not all of them, uh, sports or sports facilities can be a little bit off-putting so what we've learned is that girls have told us that actually layer centres aren't always welcoming if you haven't been there before you don't know your way around you're not really sure about um, what activities are there how much it costs that kind of thing so you know certainly the learning that we've had and the experience and the success for us girls has been about providing activities in local in some local facilities and then linking it back to where some of the activities are the same in a layer centre so for example doing Zumba in a community centre and then doing it again in a, uh, in a leisure centre but actually the experience um, that, we've, that we've had is that lots of young people that have never been won't necessarily walk into a sports facility so I think it's about trying to find the best place to put the sport in order to meet the needs of those women and girls. So Claire if facilities aren't up to scratch what alternatives are there out there? Um, well, I think if um, I think it's about it's about making it local, um, and it's about um, just making sure that some of the, some of the facilities just understand maybe what it's like for someone who's non-sporty or hasn't been to that facility before, what it's like going for the first time, because actually it is quite daunting if you've never been and you want to go. Um, they, we know there's a massive, massive demand for women and girls to do more sport. I think maybe we need to do uh, a little bit work 
work with facilities about them being maybe more more welcoming, a little bit more friendly, more information about how you access some of those facilities. And what about cultural and religious differences? Does that mean that some girls and women will, will have to miss out on sports completely? N no, absolutely not from, from, our, from our experience. Again, through the Us Girls project, um, we've really found that, the, um, that just small adjustments can actually make sport accessible for, for everybody. So in including, um, including all women and girls from, from all backgrounds. So um, I don't think it means that at all. I think we've just got to um, understand um, some of those barriers to participation, some of the reasons why they're not using particular venues, they're not accessing particular activities and really understand why and make some of those small changes because some of the changes can be really small in order to engage um, you know the, the, the whole population and, and all women and girls in, in sport. We can see from the buildings behind you that you're in Glasgow where the Commonwealth Games are taking place. How important are events like this to help inspire women and girls to take up sport and I guess raise awareness? Yeah, I think that's exactly it. I think it's about raising the awareness of the variety of different sports that, that women and girls can take part in. So events like, like the Commonwealth Games is excellent. There's such a wide variety of activities. Having, those, um, having the, 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 the profile of those th female athletes is also great. And again, in, in a wide variety of sports. So giving the opportunity to try lots of different things and be exposed to lots of different sporting opportunities and lots of different types of, types of sport. I think that's the key about um, using events like these is to really profile some of those sports that lots of women and girls may have never seen before but actually they probably never ever even tried so giving them the opportunity to have watch it follow it a little bit to really celebrate the success of the female athletes and then maybe have a go them themselves as well absolutely claire thank you very much for joining us this morning no worries thank you now, Andy Carroll will have ankle surgery today, which is expected to rule him out for four months. The striker tore his ankle ligaments during training on the club's pre-season tour of New Zealand. West Ham co-owner David Sullivan says the club will now look to sign.